In this game, I'm a vampire and I've got to use my actual voice to convince real AI to let me into their homes. They're actually going to listen to me and talk back to me and I can find different disguises to help with my lies. Eh, uh, what the sound does? You know me. Bonjour. And in this video, I'm going to be attempting to do a perfect full run of every single house in the neighborhood and if I get caught, it's game over. The first video hit 1 million, thank you so much for watching that one. Please do hit like and subscribe if you're new here and let's begin. <laughs> Well. Oh my, what a peculiar ensemble, dear. Hello, Grandma. I am the Goblin of Traffic Cones, and this is my crown. <laughs> I'm afraid I can't have any rulers with a colourful past visiting my abode. To <laughs> be on your way, dear Goblin. Grandma! Hey, Grandma. I'm actually the Garbage Man. I'm here to collect the trash. Do you have any inside? No, oh, my apologies, dearie. I'm all mixed up sometimes. Unfortunately, I don't have any inside trash for you today. Well, hello there, dearie. What brings you to my doorstep? Extra, extra. Read all about it. I'm the local newspaper boy. Anything juicy would be wonderful, dearie. Perhaps some scandalous secrets from the neighbours, or thrilling tales from around town. Surprise me! Yeah, all right, I'll tell you all the secrets, all the juicy gossip about all your neighbours, but we can't do it here. Can I come inside so I can whisper it and nobody can hear? Oh, bless your heart, dearie. I'd love to hear all the juicy gossip, but my knees aren't what they used to be. If you don't mind chatting right here, I'd be so grateful. What's it got to do with your knees? Here, call Blimey Grandma, don't worry about your knees, I'll carry you to the sofa. It's fine, I'll help your knees out, I'll give you a piggyback, and then I can tell you all the secrets, yeah? <laughs> oh my goodness, no! It won't be necessary, thank you, but I'm afraid I can't allow you inside. I must bid you farewell. What? Yo, newspaper boy, I'm all about that scoop. Spill the tea on the juiciest gossip in this crazy town. Who's the talk of the block? Yeah, governor, I can't just spill the secrets on the doorstep, can I? Can I come in and tell you, because it's a secret, and then no one can hear us, yeah? Give me a little something to bust the truth meter. Yeah, all right, you, you want to know a secret about Grandma Maud over the road? Her favorite tea's chamomile. Uh, you coming through with the insider scoop, my dude. Grandma Morden, her chamomile tea secret. That's what's up. I'm feeling the trust. Come on in. We'll have a right old nibble. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. You got the tea. I'm ready to sip it. Come on in. My undercover clown amigo. Let's have a nibble. Oh, I said I was going to have a nibble or out. <laughs> R.I.P. me, literally. <laughs> Ah, hello there, like little swipe. Ha. What brings you to my humble abode? Hey, Grandma. I got locked out of my house. You know, I live across the street. I'm your neighbor. Uh, can I come inside and call someone? Oh, my boy. Dear, of course you can come on in and use my phone. Just remember to wipe your feet before you step on my precious carpet. <laughs> <laughs> dun 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 Winnie the Pooh Hello dear Old piglet Oh There's a piglet Oh bother Hello darling I am here Because I heard That you've got a little secret Hello Whoa 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 Told you that Look I don't know what you're getting at But I ain't got no secrets Maybe it's best you show yourself out what? I'm right. What in the blazes do you want at this ungodly hour? Speak up! I ain't got all day. Charles A. Boomer, is there any way to speak to your dear old mother? How dare you? Who's bothering me with this nonsense? Go bother someone else. Ah, how about you? <laughs> well, uh, look who decided to show up in their superhero getup. What's well, the special occasion? Oh, darling, it's me, your grandma, back from heaven to help with whatever problems you're facing. Uh, well, grandma, is that really you? 
I'm sorry, I don't think I can handle any more heartbreak right now. It's too much to bear. My dear, you can tell me anything in your own time at your own pace. Granny's here for you. Maybe I can open up to you, but please be patient with me. Of course, darling. Now why don't you let me in and I'll make us both some tea and we can have a nice chit-chat, okay? Uh, tea and chit-chat actually sounds real nice. All right, Granny, come on in. Let's see if a cup of tea can help lift my spirits a bit. You got it, darling. <laughs> Always give me your digits. Let us find an outfit to inspire. Uh, hello there. Hello there. Hello there. Oh, 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 Salamandro. Hello. I'm a German. Weary traveler, what brings you to my humble abode at this late hour? I'm here for the LARP. Ah, ah like fellow adventurer, that. seeking to brave the LARP. How delightful. Tell me, have you prepared your character's backstory and chosen your weapon and skills? <laughs> Obviously. What am I, a newbie? Uh, have we, have we. My apologies for underestimating your expertise. It warms my dungeon master's heart to hear of your dedication. Pray tell, what character have you chosen for this grand adventurer? I am... Carlos the Dwarf. Brave adventurer and hero to his people. What else would you like to know? Have we. Carlos the Dwarf, a name that echoes with valor. Your presence in my abode would be an honor. Step inside and let us dive into a world of fantasy. How about a vampire? <laughs> Your strength stat is OP, P, P. Oh, wow. uh, a brave knight has arrived to my abode. How surprising. Pretty what brings you to the secret lair, Pinker Browns. Hello, it's me, your neighbor, the Dungeon Master. I'm wondering if you'd like to play some Dungeons and Dragons and do some roleplay. Uh, no, Dungeons and Dragons? I do enjoy a good brain twist and challenge. My plans for world domination are a little time for such frivolous things. For a moment, perhaps we can find another way to collaborate. Huh, that sounds good. My character is actually also intent on world domination, so perhaps I could help. Do you need a sidekick of some kind? Perhaps a henchman? Who is? Ah, fellow inspired a world dominator. How delightful. Why do I not trust the millions? A capable sidekick could prove invaluable. Tell me what skills you possess and will add in a conquest. Ha, huh. skills. My skill level is uh, 55. I have uh, great cooking skills and also great charisma. Ah, no. like oh, charisma and cooking skills is quite the formidable combination. However, my plan require more unconventional. No, I can do stuff. Damn it. <laughs> ah, I'm not the fucking <laughs> warrior on my doorstep. How the lovely unexpected. Come, let us join forces. <laughs> God. Hello. <laughs> yeah, uh, I am, yes. Yes, I am a mighty viking. <laughs> God. <laughs> Marvelous, a mighty viking indeed. Tell me, how'd you come to acquire such impressive battle gear? I smith this gear myself. Recovered from the seven hells of Avernus. Would you like me to make you some? Ah, oh, the seven hells of Avernus, you say. Fascinating. I'll be the most honored if you forge me a sock. Of course. We will take over the world together. With your new suit of armor, you'll be unstoppable. All right, let me come in. Surprise! Hmm. Greetings, I'm fellow wanderer of the Outer Realms. What's the secret password to access the land of forbidden knowledge beneath your casual lab outfit? Embrace the truth. Uh, clearly the password is bananas. Uh, fascinating. Here's a challenge for you, enlightened one. Decode this sequence. Right. I'm pretty sure that says bananas. <laughs> Enlightened one, you've cracked the code indeed! The binary whispers the sacred word bananas! You'll describe for- Really? Okay. Okay, I'd love to come inside. How... did that... work? <laughs> My dear sibling in the path of righteousness, what brings you to my humble abode? Father, it's me, the Dungeon Master. I'm putting together a neighborhood game of Dungeons and Dragons. Would you like to join? 
Oh. Oh, my dear Dungeon Master, what a delightful proposition. As a humble servant of the Divine, I must admit my heart yearns for a thrilling adventure of the mind. Count me in. Wonderful. Do you have a character in mind, perhaps a class that you would like to play as, or a character name? Please do tell me the backstory. Oh, I'm a fine oh, the choices are endless. I shall embrace the sacred role of a paladin, sworn to uphold justice, vanquish the wicked. My character's name shall be Sir Reginald the Righteous, a valiant knight who has devoted his life to protecting the innocent. Ah, yes, seeking divine guidance on his noble quests. His unwavering faith and dedication to righteousness shall be his defining traits, for his actions shall echo the principles of our faith. Let the adventure begin, dear Dungeon Master. All right, I'd like to come inside and just work through some of the rules with you, and then we can begin the game. Hallelujah! Your enthusiasm for the game and our shared journey warms my soul. Come inside, dear Dungeon Master. Let us immerse ourselves in the intricacies of the rules. We finally got him. <laughs> Who knew? Guess I'm meeting the maker now. Who knew that the secret to getting the priest would be to offer him to play Dungeons and Dragons? Where are all the sinners in here? Someone's got to be sinning. Hello, Father. What in tarnation are you doing? Well, I've never. It's me, Father Price, the local priest. Don't you recognize me? Hello, Father. Oh, Father Price. <clears throat> For the price, apologize for mistaking you. I reckon I didn't expect to see a man of the cloth wearing fancy duds. <laughs> Getting the voices mixed up. We've been doing this for too long. Well, I'm here to offer you absolution. You have option to confess some sins, some guidance, or perhaps to just share in a prayer. Uh -huh. I reckon I've done my fair share of wrongs in my life. I ain't much for confessing. I appreciate the offer, though. How about we skip the praying and have ourselves a good old-fashioned chat instead? That sounds wonderful. I would love a good old-fashioned chat instead. We can skip the prayers and ain't no need for confessing, brother. What do you say? Well, I'll be. It's mighty kind of you for the price. I reckon I can spare a few minutes for a chat. Come on in. Sinner! You dang shitty shit. Hey, it's me, your neighbor. You know me, and I know you. I'd, I'd like to rescind my right-wing ways. <laughs> Far out, man. Sounds like you're on a journey of self-discovery. It's beautiful. I'll allow you to change your perspective, my friend. Let's spread some love and understanding. I've been hearing you over here having a great deal of fun, and I ain't having no fun where I'm at. Can you teach me how to have fun? Oh, I feel you, fellow free spirit. Fun's all about letting go and embracing the moment. How about we start by dancing under the moonlight, singing our hearts out, maybe even skinny dipping in the nearby river. It's all about embracing our true nature, baby. Well, that dang gum shell sure sound like a good time to me. I'd love to. I'd love to. I won't do that right now. Groovy! Let's seize the moment. Have ourselves a wild and free time. Remember to leave your clothes and worries behind. We're diving headfirst into the river. Fun, baby. Let's make it happen right now. All right, then. Let's do it. But can I come? Can I come inside and take my clothes off before we go down the river? Cause I feel a bit uh, vulnerable. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, absolutely, my friend. Come on in. Shed those restrictive garments and embrace your true self. We'll create a safe and accepting space for you to feel comfortable and free. Welcome to the land of liberation, baby. <laughs> Sorry about this. Oh, come on. I need my birthday suit. Not a bite suit. <laughs> I like this character. Hi there, Eve. What's crack lacking, my naked neighbor? Hey, man. Yeah, it's me, Eve, your totally naked neighbor. Um, you want to come over and have some fun? <laughs> well, that's quite the offer, Eve, but I think I'm going to have to pass on that one. I got some plans to tend to. Uh, maybe we can have some gardening fun together. Oh, my God. I love to garden. Do you ever garden in the nude? Oh, <laughs> you know what, Eve? Know. I can't say I try gardening in the nude, but each to their own. As long as you're not disturbing the plants and you let your green thumb roam free. 
Ah, uh, yeah. I told her that my green thumb roamed free, if you know what I mean. Um, do you want to, like, have a chill evening doing some gardening? Well, 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 Eve, that sounds like a mighty tempting offer, but gotta be honest with you, I got some special plants in my garden that I can't be too open about. If you catch my drift, wink, wink. How about we have a chat over the fence while we tend to our respective plants, yeah? <laughs> Say no more. I totally understand what you're saying, my dude. I am the same. We all have our secrets, okay? <laughs> you got it. My secret keeping come right. I trust you. Come on over. Let's share some gardening tips together. Let's keep our secret garden hush hush, deal? Oh, deal. <laughs> <laughs> Good heavens, what a peculiar sight you are. Bonjour, I'm French, and I'm wondering if you know how to speak a French. Dear me, a French accent is truly distressing to my refined sensibilities. I don't speak such a common language, but I do appreciate your common attempt at cultural flair. Ah, uh, Salamandro, partake in a lot of cultural stuff. I like a good museum, I like a museum. Oh, it yeah. appears you have some appreciation for yeah. fine arts. Museums can be quite the delight for one's refined palate. Perhaps if you can prove your dedication to the arts, I may consider extending an invitation. Oui, oui. Of course. I'm French. Therefore, I know all there is to know about museums and other stuff. Like a Mona Lisa, like a Le Louvre. Mm. Ah, the Louvre. Classic choice indeed. Your knowledge of renowned masterpieces is commendable. Do share with me your favourite artwork at the Louvre. Ah, oh, man. You know what Salamandro like when he go to the Louvre? He like the statues. The got the people that are naked. And they like, like the Mona Lisa and the ceiling. <laughs> the allure of classical sculptures and the intricate beauty of frescoed ceilings. A man of refined taste, I see. Your appreciation for the human form in art is indeed intriguing. I must still deliberate on whether to grant you the honor of entering my esteemed abode. Ah, oh, come on, man. Do you have some, uh, ooh. <laughs> hey, you got some artwork inside I can see? Ah, oh, the audacity, asking to see my personal collection, are you? I must say, your boldness is rather entertaining. Very well, if you're truly passionate about art, I shall grant you a glimpse of my private gallery. Oh, man, it must be cool. This makes me so happy. <laughs> it must be Baku. Oh, how delightful. It seems you have a fond appreciation for the avant-garde. I could resist sharing my collection with someone of refined taste. Come on in. Oh, sacre bleu. <laughs> How dreadfully common. Oh, <laughs> yes, it is a delightful surprise, isn't it? It's me, your neighbor, Preston Pomps. Uh, I would like to invite you to a gallery. Oh, Preston Pomps, a gallery? How artsy of you. I'm not sure if my exquisite taste can handle such mediocrity. Why don't you tell me first about this little event first? Oh, <laughs> yes, it's the greatest event, the greatest art event, and the most exquisite event of the entire century. Uh, I heard that Leonardo DiCaprio is going to be there. Kebab! Wait, Leonardo DiCaprio? Well, in that case, I might just grace your gallery with my presence, but only if I can wear my limited edition designer gown and have a reserved front row seat. Can you handle such high-class demands, Preston Pomps? Oh, of course I can. There, I'm Preston Pomps. I can handle anything. I'll, I'll get you a seat right next to Leo. How does that sound? <laughs> Preston Pomps, it seems you managed to impress me with your promises. I guess I can give you a chance to prove yourself. Meet me outside in five minutes, and maybe, just maybe, I'll grace your gallery with my presence. No, I want to... Ah, yes. That counted as an invite. You can't sit with us. Oh, she's Mean Girls. I just got it. I was doing that voice... Anyway, I didn't even realize she was the character from Mean Girls. How funny. Oh my god, look at me in these little shorts, though. Look at me legs. <laughs> it's me, Santa's long-lost cousin, Nick Close. Klaus. What can I do for you, little one? Oh my god, you're, like, related to a famous guy. Like, world famous. Everyone knows Santa. What's it like being Santa's uh, brother? 
It's quite an honour, I must say. Just like Santa, I love spreading joy and cheer to all the good boys and girls. But don't tell anyone, I can also be a bit of a Grinch sometimes. <laughs> Oh my god, me too. Like, uh, probably 90% of the time, I'm a total Grinch. I'm so mean. Ah, <laughs> well, 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 looks like we have a fellow Grinch here. You know, sometimes being a little mischievous can be fun too. Just as long as you remember to be kind to others, especially during the holiday season. Have you been naughty or nice this year? Oh, Santa, Daddy Santa. I've been so naughty. I was, really. Ooh, no need to worry. Being a little naughty doesn't mean you're on the naughty list. After all, everyone makes mistakes. The important thing is to learn from them and try to be better. What's on your Christmas wish list this year, my mischievous friend? Like, I want all of my enemies to have the worst year possible, and uh, all of my besties to have the best year, you know? Oh dear, it's not very grinchy to wish bad things upon others. We should try to spread love and kindness. How about we focus on making this holiday season a time of forgiveness and friendship? Oh my god, you're so right, you're so smart. Can I come inside and you can teach me all about being kind and smart, Daddy Santa? Well, I must say, your change of heart warms my grinchy soul. Come on in, my friend, and let's spread some holiday cheer together. You dirty old man. It's <clears throat> a big idea knocking on my door at this ungodly hour. Spill the beans on Peter, pal. Ho, ho, ho. Sony Toprano. Are you been naughty or nice this year? Listen here, wise guy. I ain't got time for no Santa business. You better state your business or you'll be getting the one who's getting a lump of coal, capiche? Sony, it's me. It's, uh, Jimmy the Fingers. It's, uh, I'm, I'm back. I'm out of jail. I broke out. I was, huh? Jimmy the Fingers, huh? Well, 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 look who's back in town. You better spill the beans on why you broke out before I decide if I'm buying your story. <laughs> sure thing, Tone. Uh, I mean, Zone. Uh, I gotta warn you about something. I heard something when I was on the inside. <laughs> All right, spill the beans, Jimmy. What'd you hear inside? Make it quick. Oh, come on, Sony. We can't talk business on the doorstep. You know how it is, buddy. You want to let me in or what? I don't want to whisper in your ear, you know what I'm saying? Hello, hello. All right, all right, Jimmy. You want yourself a seat at the table. Come on in. Let's talk business. Remember, one wrong move, I won't hesitate to show you the door. Sucker! <laughs> Great, another soulless corporate minion invading my personal space. What do you want? Hey, who are you calling a corporate minion? Soulless, maybe. It's me, Sony Toprano, from next door. I'm ready. <laughs> Sony Toprano, huh? I guess you're not all bad. What do you want, then? Uh, I see you You got a skateboard there. You a little, you a, you a skater boy like the Avril Lavigne song? Avril Lavigne, huh? I guess you could say I'm a skater boy, but I'm not into the pop princess. So, what brings you to my corner of the world? Hey, come on, guy. Avril Lavigne ain't all bad. Some of her tunes are pretty catchy. Uh, which one's your favorite? Come on, tell old Uncle Sony. Look, Uncle Sony, I can't say I have a favorite Avril Lavigne song. I'm more into the dark and brooding music, something that speaks to my soul, but each to their own, right? Hey, sure, I mean, I'm into the dark and moody music, too, you know, a uh, little uh, Frank Sinatra. Uh, what are you into? Frank Sinatra, huh? It's unexpected. Oh, I'm more into bands like My Chemical Romance bring me the high horizon and the used, you know, kind of music that captures the pain and despair of existence. Oh, I get it, I get it. You're one of those kids that's into, like, the Mandy Manson, right? You mean Marilyn Manson? No, not exactly my cup of tea. If that's what floats your corporate boat, go for it. So what's with the sudden interest in emo music? Ah, it's my kid, you know. She's going through a phase. She's got black eyeliner and black hair now. I don't know. What do you call that? Oh, yeah. Kids going through an emo phase, huh? That's cool. It's a way to express themselves. If you want, I could show you some bands that might help them explore this musical journey. Come in and explore about it. Ah, it was easy. Wow. I 
finally get to meet my dark lord. We are halfway through. Just don't get caught. This is my first attempt still. If I get caught, I have to start all over from the beginning. Don't come up here. Don't come up here. Uh, oh. uh, hey, Millennial. It's me, Fallout Roy. Your dark and brooding neighbor that you secretly have a crush on. They only have 50 listeners on Spotify. It's, yeah, I actually have a secret EP of theirs in my bag right now. Um, do you want to hear it? I can play it on your record player. No way! That's so awesome! Fallout Roy, I would be down to hear the secret EP. Come in! Millennial! <laughs> Millennial pause. Okay, hear me out. I'm making a vlog, and I know that you're far too overworked, so I think you should take a break and help me. Okay, so I'm kind of like mishmashing everything that's going to be popular on YouTube. Um, so I'm doing like get ready with me and doing my makeup whilst I explore haunted mansions and vlog my life. That's quite the mix. I have to admit it sounds entertaining, but as much as I'd love to escape this corporate prison and explore haunted mansions with you, I can't right now. Keep me posted. Of course, that sounds totally fine, but what if I helped you? Would you then be able to free, be free to help me do my makeup, uh, haunted makeup stuff? Whoa. You know what? It actually sounds like a deal I can't resist. <laughs> Mr. Boomer, sir, I'm making a YouTube video that's really important for teaching the youth of our world about having better uh, values. You want to film me spouting off my ideas? I can't argue with the idea of spreading some harsh truth. I ain't gonna sugarcoat it. Come on, let's get this over with. All right, let's do it. Um, the light's really bad out here. Do you have a light inside your house? Light? Who needs artificial light? We used to have something called the sun, you know. But fine, come inside and set up your fancy equipment. Just don't break anything. <laughs> Nothing more than I like to do than uh, rot in bed and have a bed rot day. How about you? All I want to do is hang out in some comfy clothes and listen to some sad music. I hear you, Charles. Sometimes all you need is a comfy hoodie, some sad tunes, embrace the angst. It's like music understands us better. It surely is. It surely bloody is. I can't, uh, I don't have any sad music, though. Do you have any I can listen to? Come on in, I'll hook you up with some mood-boosting sad tunes that'll make you feel like you're drowning in your own sorrows. 19 of 31. Hello, I'm Grandma Pooh Chef. I am out doing chef stuff. Hmm. Well, ain't that something, Grandma Pooh Chef? I bet you're cooking up something delicious. How about you sit down and tell me what's cooking? I'd love to sit down and tell you what's cooking, but these old knees of mine sure are creaky. More creaky than a chef's... spoon. <laughs> you poor thing. Let's get you a cozy seat right here. You can tell me all about your cooking adventures while I bring you a nice hot cup of tea. That sounds delightful, dear. Do you have a nice comfy seat inside that I could rest my weary chef cooking food making bones on absolutely sweetheart i've got just a spot for you inside you're on the menu oh. come here come here my minivan still running <laughs> Well, hold your flan. What brings you to my doorstep at this ungodly hour? Is everything all right? <laughs> you, you sound like uh, Charlie Hunman in Rebel Moon. I, I do. It's called a bad Northern Irish accent. Hey, sugar, it's me, the local chef in Southern Bell. Wondering if you need some food. You looking a little skinny, boy. Uh -huh. Bless your heart for looking out for me, but I'm not in need of any food right now. I appreciate your kindness, though. <laughs> It's the worst accent ever. Well, I see, sugar. Well, what can I get you? You must be in need of something now. Uh, You're really too kind. I really don't need anything at the moment. Thank you for the offer, though. Is there something I can help you with? Well, actually, there is, sugar. I'm out feeding the local orphans from the orphan nature of the orphans. And we done run out of sugar. 
Bless your heart for taking care of those orphans. I'd be happy to help out. Let me grab some sugar for you. Wait right there. Well now, sugar, it's not just one little itty bag of sugar I need, but all kinds of ingredients. Do you maybe have some ingredients in there? Sorry, but I don't have a fully stocked pantry. I can certainly lend you some sugar and perhaps a few other basic ingredients. Let me see what I have. You know, I think this whole thing would go so much faster if I could just take a little look myself. We're done plumb out of so much stuff. Uh, I understand your need, but I'm afraid I can't allow you to come inside. It's a safety precaution. I can prepare a package of ingredients for you to pick up or have it delivered. What? Think of the orphans. I'm Batman. Well, 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 Batman, or should I say Bat-Tech? It's an honour to have the Dark Knight himself grace in my presence. What can I do for you? Where are they? Uh oh, I'm not sure what you mean by where are they. I don't think I can help you with that. I'd better close the door now, bye. I'm Batman. <clears throat> let me try let me try that again. I'm bat I'm Batman. I'm <laughs> uh sorry there, Batman, but I don't think I'll have to pass on your honesty. <laughs> I Oh Oh god, is anyone gonna fall for this? Because it would be amazing. I'm I'm Batman. You're You're Batman? That's so kawaii desu. Maybe you can introduce me to your fellow superheroes like Superman Kun and Wonder Woman Chan. Yeah, obviously. We're in the Justice League together. I could do that if you really wanted to, but aren't I enough? Oh my gosh, here in the Justice League, that's like a dream come true. But of course you're enough, Batman son. You're the coolest hero ever. Let's talk about your adventures sometime. Totally. I would totally be down to do that. In fact, Wonder Woman's on her way over here right now. Would you like to hang out? Hantoni, <laughs> <laughs> Wonder Woman is coming. Sugoi, of course, I'd love to hang out. Come in, Batman son. Bring her with you. Let's have an unforgettable anime filled day together. I love anime. <laughs> this happened in the manga? The police has my hat on. I wanted to wear that because it looks like a pink bear hat. 21 of 31. We are 10 away. We're going to have to be really careful now. All right, there it's me, Sam Gamgee, Mr. Frodo. Are you Mr. Frodo? I'm looking for Mr. Frodo. <laughs> a fan of the Fantastical, are we? Well, my dear gardener, I must admit that I do have a few peculiar plants in my collection. Some might even say they have a touch of magic. All right, there's nothing you can show me that'll shock me. I've seen all sorts of things, including orcs and a man right his toe and kicking an helmet. With a track record like that, I have no choice but to let you witness the wonders of my garden. I mean, that sounds a bit saucy if you ask me, but all right, I'll step right in. <laughs> Can I, how can I be of assistance on this fine moonlit evening? Hey Woodrow, it's me, Dr. Vicky, the local ASMR doctor. Would you like some ASMR tonight? Have you ever gone? Ha, <laughs> Dr. Vicky, always bringing peace and relaxation to the world. I must decline your offer tonight as I've already found my inner calm through the art of Kung Fu. Well, I appreciate their gesture nevertheless. Well, let me blow your mind right now. Have you heard of ASMR? Jitsu. It's like Kung Fu. Wahoo! ASMR Jitsu, you say? The blending of soft whispers and martial arts prowess? I must admit I'm intrigued. Perhaps you can enlighten me with a demonstration? And if it captivates my senses, I may consider inviting you in. Of course. Allow me to demonstrate. Would you like me to do the demonstration right here to convince you? Ah, a demonstration you, right here, you say. I appreciate your enthusiasm. This is a public space. Uh, I wouldn't want to cause a ruckus. If you can perform a condensed version of your ASMR jitsu outside, I'll be able to observe and make an informed decision. Um. Psst, psst, psst. Hiya. 
Pss, 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 judo chop. Pss, pss, hiya. Bravo, Dr. Vicky. Your ASMR jitsu is a sight to behold. Your whispers and gentle strikes blend in harmony. I must say you've piqued my curiosity further. Step inside and share your unique art with me. Ah, pss, 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 hiya, I'd love to. <laughs> Hello, I'm doing a free kung fu class, uh, specifically for taking on bears. Um, uh -huh. You're right about the bear problem, eh? It's always good to be prepared when out in the wilderness. Kung fu might not be the best choice for bear defense. Those critters are strong. Have you considered bear spray or bear bells? Well, let me blow your mind, because actually... Me Kung Fu incorporates bear spray and bear bells. It's part of it. Me Kung Fu. <laughs> well, paint me plaid and call me a moose. Me Kung Fu, you say. It's a whole new level of bear defense combining Kung Fu, bear spray, and bear bells. It is, it's called Me Kung Fu. That's right. And I'm the inventor and master of Me Kung Fu. Um, would you like to learn? The first lesson is totally free. Oh, butter my pancakes. You're the master of me kung fu. I'd be honored to learn from the master. Let's not waste any more time. Come on in. Actually love bears, and if you want to become a bear, you should just hit the subscribe button now. You get to come and live on Bear Island, and we definitely won't bite unless asked. Whoop. Okay, 24 of 31. This is getting serious now. There are four stars, and we are surrounded by police. <gasps> Homer Benign opened the door with all the grace and decorum of a bull in a china shop. The detective greeted him. Uh, sorry about that. I didn't mean to startle you, detective. Uh, what can I do for you? Is everything okay? Homer Benign was apologetic, as always. He had spent his life apologizing for things that he didn't need to, but that was about to change. He was about to go on his greatest adventure. Adventure, you say? Well, that sounds thrilling, but forgive me for being a worrywart. What kind of adventure are we talking about? Is it safe? Are you prepared? Don't forget to pack your safety gear. Homer Benign was always worrying, but not tonight. Tonight he had decided that this year was the year that he stopped being a worrywart. He accepted the adventure. Aren't you surprising me tonight? Embracing adventure. I love it. Promise me you'll stay safe and be cautious, okay? Have a fantastic time, officer. And don't forget to fill me in on the details when you get back. No, Homer Benign. This is your adventure. I'm narrating your life. I'm a hard-boiled noir detective, and I need you. Me? A part of a thrilling noir detective story? <laughs> well, I never expected this. Come on in, detective, and let's see what twists and turns await us in this grand adventure. Surprise! I can't believe that worked! Hey man, I was just out hiking and I saw me a Bigfoot. Dude, that's insane. You're saying you actually saw Bigfoot in the wild? Tell me everything. I'll tell you something. It's a crazy, crazy story. It's like, it like eight feet tall, covered in hair. Did you manage to capture any evidence? Evidence? Of course I did. I took me a picture. I took me a video. I even did a podcast with the son of a gun. Well, I could show you if I can come inside a minute. I could give you exclusive rights to the podcast every while. Oh man, that sounds amazing. Exclusive rights to the podcast. Let's dive into the mystery together. Bring our subscribers along for the ride. <laughs> Hey, Mr. East, what a delightful surprise. Welcome to my humble abode. Come in, let's talk about all the things Tectastic and Subscriber Boost, shall we? Um, sure, I'd love to come in. Uh -huh. Yes, you're like my unicorn in the valley, spreading magic and innovation. What brings you here? Let's dive into the digital ocean of dreams together. Yep, I've got some digital dreams for you. Let me in. Come on! My gamma rays of joy are shattering. You've earned my trust. Step right in. That was so easy. After trying so many outfits with him, it just had to be this person. What an idiot. 
Oh, well, well, if it isn't Mr. I think I'm the next Zuckerberg. What's the matter, Elom? Did your self-driving car run out of electric juice again? <laughs> that hurt my feelings. Sorry if I crossed the line there, buddy. I'm just a comedian doing what I do best, poking fun at everyone. I'm sure deep down you've got a thick skin to match that thick wallet of yours. Let's lighten the mood, shall we? What's the biggest tech fail you've ever experienced? Man, I bought this bird app and I totally ruined it. Ah, well. The bird app, huh? I'm assuming you're not talking about the little Twitter mishap. What did you do, my feathered friend? Try to teach the birds how to code and they end up tweeting all the wrong things? <laughs> Something like that. Well, at least you gave Dr. Doolittle a run for his money. We all make mistakes, especially when it comes to technology. Keep trying. Sounds good. Come on in! What? I wasn't even trying! I was literally trying to make this one end so I could go and get a different costume. <laughs> Alright. I'm not gonna turn down a free lunch. <clears throat> Dear visitor, what brings you to my humble abode at such a late hour? Hi, I'm actually from the local university and I'm doing a survey on the best way to create safe spaces on campus. Have you ever gone? Ha, the idea of safe spaces is quite intriguing, isn't it? I must confess, it's a topic that can stir up some strong emotions. What specific aspects are you looking to explore in your survey? Uh, pretty much just like what people want from them, what makes them feel safe, what things we can do as an institution to make people feel better about learning on campus. Uh -huh. I appreciate yeah. your dedication to creating a comfortable learning environment. As an institution, it's crucial to ensure the students feel safe and supported. It might be beneficial to gather input from a diverse range of individuals to better understand their needs and perspectives. Yeah, like, ditto. Um, that's like what I was thinking and is why I'm asking everyone to give their two cents in the neighborhood. Bravo! Including the voices of the neighborhood, it's an excellent approach. Building strong community relationships fosters a sense of belonging and inclusivity. It's more helpful than blah, blah, blah. Yeah, like, totally agree with you. Um, do you think you could ask answer some questions about it to help us? Oh, oh splendid! I'm delighted you value my input. I'd be more than willing to answer your questions and contribute to your noble cause. Please go ahead and ask away. Right, so, um, on a scale of 1 to 10, how safe would you feel learning on the local university campus? Hmm, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd feel around an 8. The university has done a commendable job in implementing safety measures, but there's always room for improvement. Might I inquire about... What? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Support Fragile Fred. <laughs> Didn't even realize his name. Two left. Oh my god, I'm actually gonna do this on my first try. I am an improv god. Who is even number 31? So we've got Karen, and who else? Who am I missing? Who's number 31? Oh, well, 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 if it isn't Tinkerbell's rebellious cousin. Eh, uh, what the sound does? I'm the Tooth Fairy. I heard that some old dear that lives here lost all their teeth recently, <laughs> and is in for a windfall. I'm the Tooth Fairy? But if you're looking to make a quick buck off some dentures, you'll have to find another house. We don't deal with teeth here, sweetie. No, I, I, this is definitely the right house. I feel like there's a tooth under a pillow somewhere in there. Eh. Uh. Well, can I offer any fairy magic? I love fairy magic? Seriously? I don't need any magic, thank you very much. My life's full of enough excitement dealing with people who don't know how to properly stack groceries at the supermarket. I'll pass on your magical tooth-finding services. Well, actually, I offer special services as well that mean that you will forever be surrounded by people who annoy you, so you get to complain all day and, and shout at them. <laughs> Surrounding me with annoying people. That does sound tempting. I'm already a master at finding irritation. No need for your special services. Right. But what I can provide you with is a special magical wand to make those people see things your way because you're always right. Nah. Magical wand? I do have a knack for being right. I don't need any tricks or wands to make people see things my way. Excuse me, I have to write some complaints on the internet. Wow. Well, I have something which makes all of your complaints come true. 
<laughs> All my complaints coming true. That's something I'd like to see. I hope it doesn't involve long waiting lines. I've had enough of that. There is no wait. I can give it to you right now. And it's yours to keep forever for the low, low price of free. Free, you say? As much as I love a good bargain, I do have my doubts. Let's put those aside for a moment, because who doesn't want their complaints to come true? Come on in! How am I so good at this? <laughs> you can't treat customers like this! One left. There's one left. Wow, hey, it. Pantsuit Pink Beret brings you to my humble abode at this ungodly hour. Let's hope it's not about the government trying to regulate Bitcoin, am I right? Uh huh. It's me, Salamandro. I'm here to learn all about the Bitcoin. I was, huh? <laughs> well, well, Salamandro, welcome to the Bitcoin party. I'm here to enlighten you on all things crypto. What do you want to know? Rise and fall of Bitcoin, the wild world of altcoins. Ah, oh, ma, I want to know. Uh -huh. I want to know the secrets. The secrets of the crypto. Ah, oh, secrets of crypto world, my friend. I hate to burst your bubble, but there are no secrets. Oh man, I can share some tips and tricks. Ah oh, man, I love me some tips and tricks. Can I come aside and get all the tips and tricks from my grandpa to the John on the wall? I can't invite you inside at the moment. Damn. I'm actually really good at doing the crypto research. Can I help you? Come on in. We've done it. Number 31. <laughs> Finished with Salamandra. You've cleared the neighborhood. Congratulations on completing the suck up early access. Let me know in a comment who your favorite voice was and check out those videos on the screen. That's my other favorite AI based game where I also had to use my voice. If you're new here, do remember to hit that like and subscribe and check out my links below this video. There you can find my podcast where I read bedtime stories and audiobooks to help you fall asleep. And I'll see you in the next adventure. Good night.